Hello and welcome to this ACT lesson. Today I want to show you how you can create a basic calculator on a web page. And this calculator is used to calculate addition, subtraction, multiplication, and even divide numbers. It will accept two numbers, the text boxes, then with the help of these buttons, the answer will be displayed below here. We are going to use two languages. We are going to use HTML language for the interface or for the appearance part of the calculator. And I will use JavaScript language to do the actions of calculations. It is very easy to design this calculator because once we write code for addition, we will just copy the same same code and do a bit of modification to it to create the other patterns. Let me show you practically how this can be done. I will start Notepad, which is my text editor for writing the code. The first thing to do is to put here HTML tag to open the web page and I will close it here with HTML tag. I will split my page into two parts, the head and also the body part. I will go ahead now and ensure that my web page has attractive title. Let me just call it um, basic calculator. Basic calculator. That is my web page title. And this is the body, I want heading, I will just choose heading level 2 and write a basic calculator. I will decorate this heading to blue color using the style color. Give it blue. After the heading, I want uh, a label here. I can have it here as uh, first number. Then I have my text boxes. Text box here, we we'll just create it here. Type is text. This text box, I want to give it a name, so I will use the ID attribute and call it number one because it will contain the first number. After this, uh, I will break the flow from left to right of the components with BR tag. Then I will also use BR tag to create empty space. I will go ahead and copy this to create the second label and the second text box. Now I will change the name of this ID to num2. So this one will contain the first number typed by the user. This will contain the second number typed by the user. This one is to break the flow from left to right for the flow of the components on the web page to go down or in the next line below. Then this one will create an empty line to separate the first text box and the second text box. This one will create an empty line between this text box and the buttons. So I will come down here and create the first button 
using input for the button you remember very well type must be submit and a label on top of the button is written using a value so I can have here add as my first uh, buttons label and this button I want it when it is clicked to do a function whose name I'm going to create here let me call it add function I will go ahead and copy this button and paste it below here paste it again then paste it again I will now change the label on the second button to subtract subtract and this function will be subtract this next one will do multiplication so multiply and the name of the function will be multiply finally I will have a label divide and we will have here a function called divide below these buttons I will create space with br then below the space I will create a label which says your answer is then I will create a paragraph below here and this paragraph doesn't have text at the moment because it will be used to show the answer so it is blank there's nothing between these two tags and I want it to show text in red color so I will style this paragraph using color then colon red like that so uh, the next thing is simply to save this inside my folder on the desktop basic calculator open it then I will give this a name let me call it basic put underscore calculate calculate and remember to put dot html at the end then I click save opening my folder you can now see my calculator is there I will go ahead double click it so that you see how it looks after refreshing the page you can see now uh, I have several buttons for them for different actions but if I put any value right now it won't calculate anything because I have not added JavaScript code for the calculation part I will go ahead and do that and ensure that uh, the calculator is working as as much as possible and be able to be used to calculate anything coming to my code the first thing to do is to give this ID this paragraph give it ID so that I can refer to it in the JavaScript code and let me just call it answer now I will go ahead below the closing body tag here I will go and create script tag then close it down here Stuff. I will just come and create my first function right here function and copy this add function here 
control C to copy and paste it here. Then I will finish with the curly bracket and close with curly bracket. And in between this, I will now go ahead and get a value from this text box, this one, and put it in a variable. So I'll create a variable called one and go to my document and get get element get element by id and my id i will paste it here it is num1 so i'm going to pick a value from this text box through its id then dot value meaning we are picking a value from that i will go ahead and copy this line and uh, paste it below here change this to num2 and create the second variable called 2 next i will create another variable called rest to contain the result of addition here i will convert what is in one into a number using the num function number function then i will add and also take what is in two and convert it into a number now this line will take what is in one after converting it to a number it will also take what is in two after converting it into a number, add them together and store the result inside res variable. Now I want what is in res to be displayed by this paragraph. So I will take the, the name of this paragraph, copy, then just come here and write document, meaning go to your document, get element by id and the element we want to get as the id as ans and when that paragraph is obtained you will open inside its inner html and give it the value of res Copy it there, put it here, and end with semicolon. So finally, this paragraph will be given the result and it will show it. I will go ahead, save these changes. After refreshing the page, you can now see if I put here 200 and 100, if I click add, the answer 300 comes. Still, I don't have actions on the other three buttons. I will go ahead and now finish my project. What I will do is simply to copy this code from function, from this bracket to that. Just copy it, control C. Then below it there, down here, control V. Then I will pick the name of this function to subtract this one, pick it, control C, come to this and replace it here, control V, and change this sign here, don't forget, to minus sign. I will copy this minus one, paste it below here. Then I will change the name from subtract to multiply. Control C. 
then come here control V to replace this to multiply and I will change this sign to asterisk or star that is used for multiplication I will copy this control C and paste it below here and pick this name divide and define it here control V I will change this sign to four slash that is the one for division now my code is complete and can be used to run the calculator. The code is big right now. I will go ahead and save it. You can see it. You can see the part of the script. This the whole of this part is script for calculation, and each of them has its function to subtract, subtract, to multiply, and to divide. After refreshing my page, I can now put here maybe 205. When I take 200 plus 5, I can get to, I will get 205. That is correct. If I take 200 minus 5, I will get 195. If I take 200 multiplied by 5, I will get 1000. If I take 200 divided by 5, I get 40. So the calculator app is working correctly. Go ahead and try this at home. And thank you for participating in this lesson. See you next time. Bye-bye.